Welcome fellow artists to Lyricology 101. I still don't have my channel back yet. Um, how you guys doing? So I wanted to show you guys the uh, Loopy Pro setup that I have. So I decided why not put it in an episode of ART? So we're bringing it back. Uh, this is the first ART of the year. Um, I know you guys really, really love the ART videos. So unfortunately, uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Andre Gaynor. I am the creator of Lyricology 101. Um, a YouTube channel that I used to have that was recently hacked and removed. Uh, they deleted the channel. So this is my secondary channel until we get the original channel back. And um, so, yeah, since when they hacked the channel, long story short, uh, when they hacked the channel, I didn't have anything to do. Everything was gone, locked down. I couldn't access anything. Um, all my music and written material was deleted with the, the accounts. So I had nothing. All my written, everything was gone. So I just started from scratch and was like, well, what can I use on a minimal setup and um, something that would be interesting creatively for myself? And uh, I discovered Loopy HD. Like, it was like a miracle, you know? So once I discovered Loopy HD, I kind of played around with it and tried, tried to experiment with some beatboxing and stuff like that. I've never done any of this stuff before, guys. So it's kind of, um, you guys are seeing me blossom in this journey, kind of like with Lyricology 101 when it first started. Um, when it first started, Basically, I didn't know how to edit or anything. You guys were watching me grow. So in the same context, that's where we are today. So let me uh, minimize the setup and show you guys what I have here. Uh, if you guys don't know, so I got my iPad set up uh, with Loopy HD uh, open. It's, it's available for, uh, you get a free trial with it. It's a free seven day period. And then after that, uh, you get to pay for the app. So check that out. Uh, created by Michael Tyson, the creator of uh, Audio Bus and Loopy HD two incredible apps i mean it was like right on time when i found these things so um yeah so for this art it's not necessarily to focus on rap and stuff but to show you how to use uh this platform to uh increase your rap performance or maybe even make your rap performance more engaging so um yeah i got my ipad set up with uh loopy pro i have my uh <laughs> blue yeti mic uh with my little uh <laughs> durag filter that i have on here um just to you know my little uh false pop filter um i have this attached by uh I have it attached by core. I want to move everything, but yeah, I, I have everything linked through um, a USB hub. So I have my microphone uh, plugged into the USB hub. I have uh, my Akai Mini down here. You can't see the Akai Mini, but I got my Akai Mini uh, plugged in as well. And I have my Newmark Orbit, uh, my wireless controller that I used to use for uh, shows. Really fun. Um, this thing is cool. So when you have this plugged in, I got a bunch of pads I can play with. So uh, I could use that for drums and stuff like that. But at the most minimal setup, um, I just wanted to start with only beatboxing and try to keep it as organic as possible. Um, and this is where we ended up with uh, this. So I'm going to show you the, the, the most base setup and how to get it running. And then I'm going to show you the additional stuff that I have on here. I have Voloco uh, for vocal effects. I have um, uh, uh, I have Tornado for other like way out effects. And then I have Koala effects and Koala for the drums if I need them and to throw in some samples. And I also have, I, sh I should show them as well, right? So yeah, I got Voloco here set up on this end. And that, yeah, we can do the chorus or vocoder. Uh, natural tune, hard tune. You can do a bunch of different stuff, uh, different sounds. Um, then we have, I have it set up to where I could press a button on my Akai. None of the, no, it's funny, I have it set up on my Akai to press pads so I could pull these up so I could move faster. Um, so I have Tornado just for uh, delay effects, uh, you know, weird stuff, weird stuff, you know, just the loops and stuff like that, glitches, glitch it up. Uh, you know, uh, some uh, reverb, you know, uh, this is what it looks like on the front, uh, but I have it on performance mode, so I can use that and implement it into the loops. Um, pull that out. I also have uh, Koala effects. Oh, somebody want to take out the trash right now. That's amazing. Um, yeah, so I have Koala effects. I got filters. Uh, I got the compressor here. If I want the uh, to be louder or if I want the drums to, you know, hit, you know, you know, uh, I can add these effects to it. Koala effects is incredible, uh, you know, to do a bit effect, maybe one of the. Boop, 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 you know what I'm saying? So you can you can fuck around with that. Change. Raise it up. You can, yeah, 
Koala Effects is amazing. So I like to use Koala Effects uh, when I'm doing drum stuff for beatboxing. Um, I I really like Tornado for vocal effects and, and like when I'm rapping a lyric, uh, you know, uh, I'm rapping a lyric and sending it back to the spirit. <laughs> come back in an instant you know stuff like that uh just to play with the vocal effect through the lyrics and then have them blend together but um when i want to do something cool for the drums i usually come here uh because i just feel like you know dirty mixed with dub it's like great for snares great for kicks um the vibe is great for wait hold on the vibe is really good for just weirdness like you see that um, unfortunately, this is one of the one things I have a problem with as far as this being a new app. I do see some crashes here and there, but I know it's a new app, so I don't take it. I don't really trip out on it, but sometimes it will uh, glitch out on me while I'm doing the show. That's why I've been going back to Loopy HD, but with Loopy Pro, um, it's just I'll show you the feature that that keeps me here. <laughs> I'll show you the reason why I endure this shit. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the feature. But this is an excellent app, no joke. I already know that in due time it's gonna work out. So uh, in here I got my Model D. Um, if I wanted to play some notes, but I don't have this uh, running right now, so my Model D isn't running. Uh, so I'm not playing any notes because I want to just do all beatboxing. It's kind of like a last resort type of situation. But uh, with the fly tape, uh, I have this set to where it affects the entire uh, bus, the the whole instrumental, the main channel. So when I'm rapping or, or beatboxing or something, um, you know, so yeah, I can keep beatboxing and it'll stay stopped. Or uh, so yeah, we could play around with what we already have and then fuck around with it. So while I'm rapping, I like to use uh this to to stop the entire beat and affect the entire beat. So I come with the dope rhymes. These brothers is lo-fi. I'm coming, you're wobbling, scared when I come off of the top. You're marvelous, yeah. I slow your speed. You're stopping like damn. You see what I mean? So uh, I like that. And then also I can make the beat stutter while I'm talking and it also has a cool effect. Uh, yeah. But uh, usually it works best when I'm you know, like rapping with the music and stuff. Um, and by the way, this is all for a hip hop context. If you're doing this for a live hip hop show or something like that, I think this would really help you guys. I also have another Tornado and this Tornado is uh, or was attached to my Akai, but I can't get the knobs to move uh, smoothly. So when I turn my knob on uh, on 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 my uh, Akai MPK Mini, um, the knobs on the uh, the effect don't move as fast as I'm moving. So there's kind of this weird delay effect, and it, it doesn't really work. So I, I just do it by hand now. So I have it on performance mode, and this one specifically, everything here it affects the entire main channel. So um, this will also slow down and glitch the whole beat. Um, and everything like that. While this instance of it, uh, the other Tornado I have, is just for me and my vocals. Just for the vocals. Just for the vocals. Um, and as far as what you see here, the original is uh, uh, two rows. I brought it down to four rows because uh, I wanted a, I wanted 16 rows uh, just for my own reasons. I think 16 looks cool, and I just think this was a perfect balance for me. Um, I, I, as far as the colors are concerned, I don't really lock my... Um, concept down to color yet because with loopy hd it was perfect loopy hd there was no color and then with loopy pro they added color and they made it even more perfect so i haven't really figured out a system to work with the colors just yet i just run it all through this whole thing i loop it through all of these so yeah so and then there you go um and then the way i have it set up um I have all start up here to just, you know, if I have a whole bunch of layers going, cause I have a problem with putting 20 layers in. So if I have all the layers going, uh, basically I just hit all stop just to have the, you know, give the listener a break and then probably do an acapella thing or a joke or something and then bring every back, everything back in. Um, or I could kind of let it linger, let everything drop and then uh, throw in one of these and be like, yeah. And then start the beat back up so you know you could have that that smooth transition into something new um as far as these are concerned these both go to koala 
th these both go to koala effects and these are just xy pads so uh just for effects and stuff like that this turns a glitch in uh this one's for stutter and uh i think uh for um for the 8-bit sound <laughs> for crush yeah so it's crush and uh stutter for this one and then i think this one's pitch and uh filter <laughs> yeah yeah pitch and yeah so that's how i have it set up for that but it's funny I, I don't tend to use this because i don't know it's just easy to hit that pad and, and jump back here and just do it that way you know uh, i think it just works much smoother <laughs> So yeah, that's how I've been experimenting with it. But the setup itself, uh, to me, is easier to use compared to Loopy HD simply because on Loopy HD, you have to jump from window to window very fast. And sometimes you might get flustered jumping from uh, Voloco to uh, your Tornado, right? But here I have Voloco and Tornado put together. So I could be talking like this and suddenly sing and then jump into this effect and come back to clean. And I think that works really well if you want to do something on a freestyle tip. So as far as everything you see on the setup here, uh, my goal is to make, uh, to have a really uh, interesting hip hop rap uh, freestyle experience. So yeah, with that angle, uh, I utilize these effects to make um, the punchline stand out more. Or if I'm reading comments off the screen while I'm rapping and, and reading your comments, uh, I do my best to emphasize the word. So if, you know, uh, if the word is pickle, these niggas will feel Lil and they look like Tommy Pickle, you know, or whatever, right? And then I use that for emphasis. Um, or, you know, he's hot as the sun, hot as the sun, you know, just to let them know that uh, I'm highlighting their word. And if, it, if, if that isn't enough to highlight their word, I try to linger on the word that they've given me, right? So it's like, oh, pineapple, I rhyme bad and you guys rhyme scrabble, whatever, blah, 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 blah pineapple, <laughs> right? And I have pineapple inside the effect. Or I'll say pineapple because I rhyme bad, you know, whatever. It's just and add another layer after it. Just essentially showing you like, this is how I could set them up lyrically and also um, keep the crowd participation involved. Um, Cause the way I do it is I freestyle and wrap your comments or I add your comments into what I'm doing. Kind of in a beardy man sense, I would like to be the equivalent of beardy man and Reggie Watts at the same time with some Mark Rebelay in the middle. You know what I mean? So that's the way I got it set up. Um, oh yeah. And the additional thing that I have set up here is Koala. Yeah. So with Koala, um, it's a big surprise, right? So with Koala, this is like my... I, I, I love drumming. I love drumming. The drumming is fun. But I want to make sure that it's as, or, as organic as possible. I want this experience to be very organic. So with this organic experience, um, you know, I try my best not to throw in sample drums and stuff like that. But drums are banging. So I got a really good uh, drum set from Slap Expert. Shout out to Curtis King and all these incredible producers. So uh, I got these set up. Oh, there we go. I had an effect on it. All right. So yeah, boom. Yeah, so guys that have been hearing me do uh, the live freestyles on Instagram, that's what you've been hearing. Uh, it's just me on um, Koala with a few samples. And then I got a whole row of these. But I only have one set of drums just to keep me tame. You know what I'm saying? Only one set of drums, and the rest are very weird samples. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Eric Andre Show! So yeah, um, you know, the, the little weird ass moments that I got from my favorite shows, video games, or just really weird shit. Okay. You know? um, what are you talking about? They're just standing there. Oh, you don't see it? <laughs> I just seen them do some I didn't even know existed. Right. Um, weird sounds, you know, anything I want, you know, uh, but this, I, I have these last three rows just for weird ass sounds. And what I do is while I'm beatboxing, um, I pretty much put you in a world where these effects kind of like play around and taunt you, you know? Not to taunt you, but it's just like random out of nowhere. Okay. okay. And then keep rapping like nothing happened, and, you know, kind of have a cool effect. Or if I get lost in a rhyme scheme or something like that, I can throw one of these in there. Why are people always trying to steal my map? Because rap is a habit. I'm going fast, eating these cats like a sandwich from the habit. I, you know, get the bag and grab it. So it's like I can use that as a, as a buffer, or I can just spontaneously throw one of these samples in there while I'm fucking around, uh, you know, woo, woo. See what I mean? So you can kind of put people on a, you know, an audio journey. So what I like to do is, uh, you know, throw in some beatbox and freestyle on top of it and then throw them in some weird ambient space and fuck around from there. <laughs> so, yeah, that that's pretty much how I have it set up, though. So 
um in short i just i didn't want this to be a long video i know you guys don't like long videos but i wanted you guys to really understand how we get this together i think um, i'm gonna just pretty much exit out of this one and come back and give you guys an example of how this works but in short this is what you're seeing and this is what i'm doing so if you guys are interested um it's a few apps you have to get uh first of all you gotta get loopy pro loopy pro is incredible it's a it's a free seven day trial so guys it's, it's worth it it's worth your worth your time just just give it a go uh, your setup isn't going to look like this, right? Your setup is going to probably be much more minimalistic. You're not going to have these features, but everything about this app is customizable. It, it, it's unbelievable what this guy's put together. And my favorite feature about this looper before I get out of here is, I don't know how he's got it to tempo lock or whatever, but it, it's just immaculate how it works, man. Um, and this is still new technology. So basically what I mean is on Loopy HD, the problem I had is I'd had to turn the metronome on. And once the metronome was on, then I had to kind of lock myself to the metronome. And what I noticed was I kind of ended up doing these like boots and cats type of beats because I was so locked into the metronome. So here I can kind of swing. I can be weird. And usually it'll catch my rhythm and lock it in. So here's an example. Um, and now loopy pro knows that it is 89 bpm now we're locked into 89 bpm i don't have to make any other adjustments but keep adding on the layers compared to uh loopy uh hd where it's like you had to lock yourself to the metronome get used to it spit some you know get it together and then uh remove the metronome and keep it going where here i get the adjustment immediately so watch clear all is gone I cleared it all, and now we're going to do a whole nother rhythm, and it's going to perfectly tempo lock to it. So what I like to do uh, for the setup, uh, or at least for these these uh, live formats, is kind of kind of something I got from Reggie Watts. Is like we're gonna build these loops and these layers and uh, mess around with them, and then completely just erase them and then start again. You know, um, Mark Rebelay style is more like we're gonna start with a rhythm and then we're gonna transition to another rhythm. So he he might start slow with that nice groovy shit, you know, um, and then he will suddenly turn it around and add some. Now we're partying. Now we're dancing. So that's Mark shit. Um, and uh, Beardy man, he just he just does anything. He just does anything. He'll he'll start he'll start from here. <laughs> yeah, Beardy man is crazy, and Beardy man will make that shit sound super cool. So in my world. I want to blend these ideas and put it together in a good way. So um, pros, this thing is, is seamless. It's it's seamless, man. It's seamless. I just love how it comes together so smoothly. Um, let's see. I, yeah, I'll do the examples in the next video. But yeah, I, I just feel like everything comes together smoothly. The pros, everything's accessible right in front of your eyes. I could pull all these guys up at once uh, and, and then have my filter effect. Big core is... You know what I'm saying? So I, I like that. I like that ability to transition. So, uh, yeah, the, everything being in the same space is incredible. Sometimes uh, we have crashes, though. They might crash while I'm going. And it sucks because when Ko Koala crashes, I lose all the samples. The samples go away completely, and I can't access any of them. And that sucks. But I work it out, and I just keep going. Very troubling. Yeah, so that but that's not a big problem but i the biggest problem is i've been doing the lives and it crashes on me or sometimes we'll have loops i'll go and attempt to do a loop and it just won't do the loop and then it'll go red and then every loop i attempt after that will not happen and then i have to close the app out completely and jump back in and that's not that's not good if i want to do it for like the live format like this right um with loopy hd it's more stable but with this one it's just <sighs> I, I just the, the tempo lock man boom 
And it's locked. 75. It knows. That's incredible. Whatever pace you pick. <laughs> but yeah, so and I'm keeping it general. We're in the starter set, right? I'm just fucking around. You know, I'm better than that, y'all. But yeah, so um, yeah. Uh, th this is the first page of Voloco, by the way. If you guys are interested in all the apps, Voloco is also uh, an app as well. But yet, this Voloco is a paid app. Uh, has a monthly subscription, but you don't need to pay the monthly subscription if you don't want to. To me, I'm paying. It's worth it because I I don't know what I would do if I didn't have the Voloco setup with this to to add my layers specifically. Uh, you know, especially when I need like man, the bass don't hit when I when I beatbox. So hopefully, if there's some beatboxers out there, how do you get your kicks to hit so hard? Um, I might not have the right microphone for it to be completely honest, but so if I'm feeling like I'm not going to get that level of, uh, you know, depth or, or, or the, my sound isn't thick enough, bodyguard. Now, now I got a, I got a whole different sound. I can go big fella or I can go bodyguards and listen to this one. I hit it too early, but you get it. Yeah. I hit it too early, but you get it. I hit the loop too early. The best thing to do, oops. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I could do this too as well, a little note. I can hit off and on and do a back and forth and almost battle myself or, or battle an opponent. You know, I'll rattle an opponent. You just average and you know it. Nigga, over this, I blast him with the gun. I'm laying on the ground because he blasts me and I'm done. You know, so you can do back and forths like that. Um, one of the, the things I was experimenting with was like jumping back and forth between, uh, you know, talking to big fella, you know, big fella talking hella shit and bodyguards are like a really bad guy. And, uh, all these other guys are different forms of me beating them up, you know, but, um, unfortunately the setup that we have, uh, for some reason, man, it just doesn't translate well. It doesn't translate well on certain platforms. A lot of platforms are on mono and a lot of these effects are stereo and they sound horrible in mono, I guess. So, um, can't do it all the time, but I do get to create little cool scenarios, you know, I'm talking shit. You whack as a bitch. I'm about to attack you and smack on your chick. And I blast you real quick till you fall to the grass from that shit, you know, and, and just make jokes out of it, make a story out of it. Um, you know, somebody's talking shit. You a punk, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Blew the nigga to pieces, right? And then find, you know, a concept to keep it going. So I, I like to paint pictures while I rap. And this is the best way to get my image to be as clear as possible. So that's what I really love about having Tornado, Voloco, and Loopy Pro as a family is it's incredible and koala as well koala i didn't forget you koala is incredible koala actually has a lot of depth and with koala though i like koala's effect system that's why i got koala effects because this dub shit right here i love just this alone this alone i would get it for you feel me so yeah I, I love it i love it so um as far as that man that, that's it as far as the notes i have for uh you guys to even attempt to try this uh yeah that's all you need you just need a, a setup you don't need an akai mpk mini you don't need this new mark orbit um there these are merely here to assist me for little stupid shit like wait incredible yeah this is just uh all the samples that i mentioned earlier all the goofy stupid samples and then um yeah it also displays uh what's on the screen but the more i used it i realized i could just tap the screen i don't need to go over here i'm, I'm, I'm almost going out of my way um but yeah, sometimes I might be doing one of these. And that's what I'll do. You know what I mean? but yeah, so, and that's kind of what it works like. Uh, what I like to do is I like to let an echo linger and then catch it. Turn it down, make it background, make it some background to the beat that I'm making. And it sounds fucking dope. It sounds amazing. But um, yeah, so like I said, that's how this thing works. This thing is amazing. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, so yeah, I'll be right back with some, uh, I'm just making some examples for you guys. Um, and we'll have some fun. Oh yeah, and do not forget about tape. Uh, Fly Tape 2 is an amazing, amazing app. Um, this thing is inc uh, incredible. Um, without a doubt without a doubt so yeah that's my setup i might be going a little too long but yeah i'm gonna be right back with some examples and you guys can roll with your boy um i'll catch you in a second much love to you guys and don't forget where the art is peace